Welcome back to Monster Madness. It's time to get the games started. We've got the play-in games that just took place, and uh, we are going to debate what happened, and that's actually going to determine. So I guess they haven't taken place yet. They're about to take place. So, without further ado, we are going straight to Jon Snow versus Black Panther. Of course, we're all sad about uh, Chadwick Boseman, and we hope Black Panther will do well. I happen to love Jon Snow, but he's in a pretty tough spot here, I would say. So, uh, who wants to jump in and tell me who they think would win this matchup and why? Well, I'm not a I'm not a Game of Thrones guy, so I can't comment too much on on Mr. Snow there. But Black Panther is pretty much uh, undefeated, I think, in my in my opinion. He's got the suit which can collect the energy of any attack and turn it into a counterattack for him. He's wicked fast. He's super strong. And he's got claws. I just I don't think there's much of a matchup here. I think Mr. Snow is just out of his out of out of his depth. Now, Ross, are you familiar with Game of Thrones? Because yeah, both I'm familiar, Casey I'm and familiar. Lauren are not. I mean, I I'm feel not. that I feel that Black Panther has everything from strength to age to everything else. He has everything on his side. Snow, we love him. I know Game of Thrones was a huge hit for HBO. It's one of the biggest dramas ever in history, but doesn't matter when it comes to this kind of stuff. I'm taking Black Panther on this one. I just feel there's too many variables of, in his favor. Now, Lauren, I'm going to give you a chance, even though you don't know Jon Snow, I just want to hear your rationale before, you know, my vote might may not matter. I, I, it's like living in New York. Go ahead. Well, yeah, you know, I'm going to go with, you know, <laughs> Black Panther, but that's just because I don't know much about Jon Snow and what some of his attributes are. Um, I mean, I think that, you know, Casey and, and Ross the Boss have kind of covered uh, Black Panther's, you know, attributes very well. So I'm just going to go and agree right. with them. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in on Black Panther also, but I will say that uh, Jon Snow lost this partly because he needs to hire a PR person. What was okay. Jon Snow's biggest uh, thing? Uh, what was his biggest thing? What was I mean, his biggest he, like? He, well, I mean, he was a sword fighter. He was very tough. He he actually um, survived death and came back. So that's that's a pretty big deal. That's um, awesome. dead, but, he he was a great jouster. Um, but I mean, he really he had his heart in the right place, but he just can't be Black no, Panther. Okay. I, I completely agree. Okay. All right. No guys. contest. No, no contest. Now we're moving on to what may be my favorite playing game: Chewbacca versus Frankenstein's monster. Who you got? Somebody. Okay, right, I'll, I'll go. start that. I'll go. Oh, you. Uh, okay, Frank, Frankenstein's monster, he can barely move. He can, can't talk. He, he, has, he has no brain, basically. He has no superpower. <laughs> he has no... The only thing he can do, if you get close to him, he grabs you. He, has, he can crush you. I guess that's his big attribute. I don't know what yeah. else he can do. Chewbacca... And, and, I mean, he... Chewbacca well, he's facing like, off against a Wookiee. I mean, how can you be? Even if he squeezes a Wookiee, Wookiee, Wookiee is just as strong as as Frankenstein's monster. Well, Chewbacca has the has the laser gun. He knows how to fight. He's a survivor. You know, I mean, he's 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 been around for a long time. He has great hair. I'm just, you know, I mean, I mean, for me, I'm I'm taking Chewbacca <laughs> on this one. I just because of the hair. I hear factor. you. I hear you. But but I'm gonna I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. The real Frankenstein's monster from Mary Shelley's Frankenstein was super fast. You probably don't know that. You think of him as, ah, ah. But no. And maybe <laughs> he talked like that. <laughs> <laughs> Putting on the Ritz. Uh, Peter Boyle would win this matchup. Every time. I, I, I'm going to go with Frankenstein's monster. You know, Chewie is really, uh, he's quite a fighter, but uh, he loses his temper a lot. And I he think has no brain. He can't, he isn't, he can't think. The guy it's just has Abby Norman. Like, it, no, like it's, 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 it's just, head. it's just like in basketball. You don't want to think. You don't want to think during a fight. Yeah, no, but, uh, Chewbacca's going to overthink it. He's going to become too emotional. All right, Casey, what do you? Who do you have? Or, or Lauren? You jump in. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with. <laughs> I'm going to go with Chewbacca. I mean, I like okay. your argument. I understand Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Uh, Frankenstein's monster was pretty much a badass, but. But I'm going with the Hollywood rendition of Frankenstein in this fight. I think uh, Frankenstein's monster, I think we can pick which one we're putting in there. I'm putting in Peter Boyle, and I, I, I don't know. I just got to go with Chewbacca. All right, Lauren, you have a very I'm going to go with Frankenstein's here. monster Oh, there. we have a tie. Um, so, <laughs> oh, tie. do we want to not have a tie? Yeah. No, we no, can have a tie. No, we, we can have a tie. You have to vote, vote your conscience. 
I'm I'm gonna go with uh, Frankenstein's monster. You know. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna tell you our tiebreakers mm-hmm. are are normally done by fantasy pros expert Andrew Seifter. He is not here at this moment. However, I know that I have him would. on record knowing who he would choose. Me so too. We had this debate once, and you know who he chose? Frankenstein's, Frankenstein's monster. Oh. It's over. In fact, I can't be serious. I, no, in <laughs> no, fact, no, actually, serious. Russ. Ross the boss. I mean, we should bring him on, you know, next time to talk about this because next, he next makes time, a we'll, very excellent, you know, and he's passionate about it. Monster. He's very we'll passionate deep. about it. Okay, guys, yep. I don't want to. I don't want to lose too much time not talking about Hitler versus Mr. Miyagi. Oh, I mean, right. this is one of the favorite matchups people have. Some people like they they want to see Hitler get tortured, uh, but I'm like, no, he he gets it. He's got to go down right away. And plus, I'm not letting him beat Mr. Miyagi. Not a chance. And meanwhile. This is this is I'm assuming this is hand to hand combat. It's not like Mr. Miyagi against Hitler and the Nazis. I mean, come on. Yeah, Besides, I'm not, Mr. Miyagi, Mr. Miyagi has Miyagi all the wins. Japanese. It would be a World War II disaster. He yeah. waxes him, no pun intended. Mr. He waxes Miyagi, him. exactly. You know, you know, he kills the little flies with the chopsticks. He's got all kind of mad skills. You know, I exactly. Mean, Although the Mr. idea Miyagi of Hitler being waxed is very disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Ross, son, what say you? Daniel he, son, uh, he sands yeah, the Daniel floor son. with him. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's yes. a no-brainer. Hitler, Hitler never, i never seen Hitler, like, get in a fight in his life. I mean, the only, no. the only thing he's he a did, total did wimp. was, yeah, he's like a wimp. I mean, I mean, even look how he ran away when, when, when the Allies attacked his bunker. I mean, yeah. he, he didn't do anything. He, didn't, he wasn't trained hand-to-hand combat. He was a painter that turned this horrible yep. leader— and, and he had no skill set at all. And the you know what? Had, and the only no, thing he you're had right. That, and stu- he was... that stupid mustache that it, you know we call the Hitler stash. You know, but I mean, he he, he has no skill set. There's nothing. He walks around. I know. With that, I know. With that, you People know. talk about him like he was some kind of great person, but he was no, really a horrible jerk. haircut. Uh, yeah. Horrible he, he mustache. He was a horrible person. Ho- horrible. Yeah, he he was a horrible leader. And, and meanwhile, you you said you said he's a painter, and I was just gonna say he never learned to paint the fence like Miyagi would have shown him. Yeah, I mean, Mister right. Mister Miyagi is going to wax the floor with him. And, and remember, wax the, on, remember, wax remember what happened in the last episode? Of, remember the last movie? I mean, the first movie of Karate Kid when the, when he like beat beat that young guy up in the in the parking lot. I yeah, mean, sensei. I mean, of Milwaukee, course, this guy is a great fighter. I mean, he he broke yeah. that that guy tore up his hands. Remember. And Miyagi exactly was, was unbelievable. Pun- punching windows, and yeah. all, all Miyagi had to do was move to the side. Yeah, I, I think we're all in agreement here. Yeah. Hitler is done. Yeah, um, he was never going to advance. Last play in game. This is a this is a controversial one because uh, Sherlock Holmes is a great hero of mine. Arya Stark, another Game of Thrones uh, character. So we really only have two people here who even know who Arya Stark is. But. Um, Given that you and I, Ross, are the people who know who these two people are, I mean, I assume you all know who Sherlock Holmes is. Ross, who wins, Sherlock Holmes versus Arya Stark? Sherlock Holmes was a great detective, but again, he's never known to be like a guy that can defend himself. Um, there's really no skill set there. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, I he, he's I, very I, I, smart. A very smart guy. Yeah. You know, he's, he's he's you know, especially the version with. Um, with Will Ferrell, I thought that was a great one. Um, yep, that's a joke. Yep. Uh, but that, <laughs> but I, I would have to go with the Game of Thrones star. Um, just I, I think his only hope is that if he took a lot of cocaine and he became <laughs> extremely <laughs> agitated, that's the only way that he can win. Meanwhile, Arya Stark is a total badass. I mean, she oh. killed the Night King. Like, oh, sorry, just a spoiler alert. But you guys don't seem like you're going to watch this anyway. So that's too late. I think you're we good. both have Arya Stark. But now, now, um, I, I love Sherlock Holmes, but I can't give him the edge over Arya Stark. How about you guys? I'll take your word for it. I'll go with Arya Stark. Same. Very strong argument. I like it. Thank you. All right. Well, listen, even if it was a tie, I know that Andrew is very much in Arya Stark's corner. Uh, he, uh, he's been talking to me about it since, since we initially had this conversation. He's still talking to me about it. I just have him on hold. I just, <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not listening anymore. Okay, so we have our first four victor- victors. We now have 64 teams set. 